Hey guys, Jay here with Mountain Dog Companion. Today we're going to be talking about the map and how the transportation works. So come along for the ride and follow along and we'll be on our way. Okay guys, so we're heading out to visit one of our litters. Um, one from Millie and Jose's litter. And he's about six weeks old. Uh, I'm going to be hanging out with Max primarily and just having a good time talking a little bit about the transportation. So on our way right now, we got about a 10 minute drive. All right, so first up here um, with the transportation pretty much where we, we do have a nice client base um, pretty much all over the US here. And we've kind of worked, we've dedicated a lot of time to working with um, different options to make sure that, I mean, it's something to take very ser seriously and it's, it's something that uh, we don't want to take too lightly. So we've we put a lot of time and dedication in finding the right options and, and the perfect setting for the puppies to, to be able to make the trip out safely. And um, it's something now that I feel like we have a great amount of confidence in um, as far as just making sure the puppies are taken care of and making sure that um, they're, they're gonna be coming home safely and gonna be as happy as possible. The first part of the video, we'll, we'll talk about the ground transportation. Um, with a good friend of mine, his name's J.R. Kahn. And basically um, what he does is he drives from um, anywhere on the East Coast, uh, from ranging from North Carolina to basically um, New York is kind of where his range is and he would drive out, uh, bring the puppy to your house, uh, normally ending up being on a Thursday is when delivery is. And one thing I really like about it is he actually starts off late on Wednesday evening. So um, it's a very direct trip. He has three different routes going out for the East Coast. So it's always Wednesday evening late pickup and being delivered on Thursday at some point, depending on where you're at. Um, now his north like Chicago area um, run is a little bit different my brother actually helps him out on that run um, and it's a weekend trip so my brother actually starts off on Friday evening um, and pretty much makes a trip out to Indianapolis and then up to Chicago and looping back through Toledo and coming back down um, through Cleveland so um, it's a pretty nice trip it's a nice shorter trip too um, and he just he does a really good job as well um, and another thing that I really want to point out with uh, JR's transportation team um, they it's not a huge van it's not like a huge commercial thing it's more of a family based thing so they they have um, your smaller SUVs maybe even a minivan and it's just really nice setup or a really nice setup and basically gets very well taken care of each puppy is they they can ded dedicate more time directly to each individual puppy so we're almost there we're about five minutes out um, and but I guess first before we get there I want to talk about flights a little a little bit um, primarily the nanny flight part of it um, so basically if uh, JR Kime and his option doesn't work out uh, for ground transportation if you're outside of that range. My next option would probably uh, primarily be a nanny flight. Um, it is a little bit more expensive. It normally ranges between 600 and a thousand bucks depending on where you're at. Um, but it's definitely a very stress-free option especially if you're living out in LA or Seattle or wherever the case may be. Um, on the west coast or Denver, that's one very um, popular spot is Denver, LA, or Seattle. That's kind of three part, primary spots for us, but um, it's relatively affordable. And the puppy rides in the cabin with a good friend of mine. Her name's Fanny, ironically. Um, so um, Fanny the nanny is what I call her basically, but uh, she actually flies out with the puppy. So it's either her or her nanny, Allison, um, make the trip out. They fly out and meet you at the baggage claim at the airport um, with the puppy. The puppy gets to ride with them um, in the plane and basically then make the trip out and uh, meet you at the airport, hand off the puppy with the paperwork and all that good stuff. Or I have had a puppy flown to Alaska. That's definitely something that's available. Um, 
and then pretty much any airport. Um, the larger airports will be a little bit more affordable, but I have had connecting flights from LA to a smaller airport or wherever the case may be from Dallas or wherever the flights may connect, just um, it might be a little bit more expensive for those. So that's kind of the second option. Um, we're almost there. Guys, we finally made it here, hanging out with Max. Um, he's Wendell's little friend. <laughs> um, Wendell definitely keeps him, keeps him busy. Um, but he's doing good, and this is Max, the Bernice sweet little chunk he's actually he has adopted um, he was pick number one in the litter all right guys so we got max here just hanging out he's having a good time super sweet little guy super excited to see me um, as always but um, anyway so the last option I kind of have um, if budget is a thing or if you guys are um, kind of looking for this option or if you're um, interested in this especially if the puppy so with the nanny flight um, the puppy can't be over 20 pounds so that's one thing i tend to run into with bernice mountain dogs um, they tend to be come here buddy come here bud they tend to be uh, <laughs> he just wants to play with mike it um, they tend to be almost pushing that weight limit at like 10 pounds um, so or sorry at almost at 10 weeks and sometimes even earlier, I've had one puppy from Denali's litter that was actually eight and a half weeks old and she was 20.8 pounds. So, um, and it was a girl. So that's, that's definitely a crazy part of it. But you do get into that when you're um, looking at your European style burners and uh, some of your bigger American style burners. So uh, Max here, he's, he's definitely your American style. He's about six weeks old, but he's got a really nice face and nice size to him as well so super sweet little guy but uh, with the with the uh, cargo flight so basically how it works we try and primarily fly with American Airlines um, they kind of have the best uh, transportation team when it comes to cargo flights they just do a really good job um, as good as you really can he would uh, the puppy would fly under the cab or under the plane um, in the cargo area but they do a really good job we get to kind of get his carrier ready, make sure he's comfortable, have some blankets in there, um, and make sure he's sit, or the puppy is situated before flying out. I haven't had any issues when it comes to um, this part of the transport. Um, it, it is a little bit more stressful, but I haven't really, I haven't dealt with any issues. So. Typical cost of this is around 550 to $650 depending on the age um, and also uh, the size of the puppy. So those are kind of the two factors with it. So, um, again, the three transportation options, we have the ground transportation uh, ranging around um, pretty much anything within 12 hours from us um, and that's $300. And then we have the nanny flight option which is between $600 and $1,000 and then we have uh, the um, cargo flight option which is around 550 to 650 dollars so in today's video we're talking about transportation but as always the best option is really coming out and visiting so if that's something you really want to do feel free to we're always more than happy to have you guys out have you come out meet the puppies just like we're doing here with max he's just hanging out here having a good time this is pretty much what you can expect and i mean how to spend, uh, how better, how much better can you spend your Saturdays? So, um, of course, if you want to come out for a visit and not do the transportation, just let me know, schedule an appointment. Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but we do have some Mountain Dog Companion apparel here. So if you're looking to get in on that action, um, check out the footer on the website. We do have a Mountain Dog Companion shop now. Um, it's actually mountaindogcompanionshop.com. So feel free to check that out. If you want to get some cool swag going on, I feel like the shirts are just super good quality. 